We're here today in Welland, Ontario, standing up for the kids' rights. We're not against gays, we're not against the pride, we're against teaching kids in school, sexualization and second genders, other than the two genders we know, which scientists and doctors will tell you there's two genders in this world, and that's all I need my kid to learn in school. I don't need to be paying taxes for them to learn misinformation, like Justin Trudeau says. More than two genders is misinformation. Two genders is proper information. So let's keep it straight, let's get out here, stand for the kids. Freedom! Do you remember what I asked you before, right? If you feel that the people fighting are doing the right thing, that the kids need saving in the schools, do you feel like... Uh, I mainly feel like that some <laughs> are fighting for their sake of the and some might not fully understand, or some are fighting for the sake of fighting. Because, as my mom said, every side has a right, every side has a wrong. So they could say how all gay people are molesters. And so I could say all priests are molesters, since there's been a few cases of priests being molesters. Lots of cases. Yeah, I can lots agree of with cases. that. Definitely. So, if they want to say one thing, we can retaliate with pretty much the same thing, but for them. Like they could say, we're polluting their mind. And like we could say the same thing. Most people don't believe in God, so what's stopping me from saying how you're polluting our mind with God? Some people just are atheists, some people just don't believe in general. I'll counter over here so far. There's rights on both sides and there's wrongs on both sides. So do you think this is something? This is a religious thing? Or? I think it all depends on who you talk to. Because there's multiple religions here today. I see there's Muslims, yeah. Christians, there is. Um, Catholics. I think depending on who you talk to, it depends on why they're against it, right? Yeah. Some people are against it because they feel nothing like someone from like this or any kind of sexual thing taught in the school that you're taught to play against. Yeah. Just unfortunately, a lot of things stem from being a white race. We've had to bring in things to the education system, like racism and stuff like that, because it's taught at home to hate, right? right. So it's taught here that, you know, it's not the case. We can't leave everything at home to be So if we, if we take religion out of the equation, is, do you think there'll still be an issue or not? I think there'll still be some issues. Some issues are the fact that people don't want it being taught in the schools because it's sexualized and things like that. So there's a human aspect to it. It's not just religious exactly. things. Exactly. Just And over things. the last decade, they've been lowering sex ed from grade <laughs> eight to seven to <laughs> six. Right? It's too long, don't come back up. Some people don't. It's hard to get back each other by themselves. And the problem with that is some people can be racist or they're homophobic. So like if they were to teach at home, you know, parents are going to be saying gay people are bad. It's wrong to be gay. Black people are horrible people. That's at home. So where is yeah. the place to teach it? The school? Do you think the schools is the right uh, place to be teaching this stuff? I feel Sometimes, like there's like a fine line with it, right? I think, do you know what? I don't even let my kids have sex ed at school because, like I said, there's so much history. So like I said, like I said, there is a fine line between it all. There's a fine line between it all, right? Like I said, there's a right on each side, there's a wrong on each side, there's an in-between that everybody needs to come to. With the maple leaf in the We're middle. Not here to and that's been all. an inclusive yeah. flag it's for them. decades, the Canadian flag. But all of a sudden, we have people thinking, no, this is the end. We have a red, white with a maple Everybody leaf, and it's very flag. inclusive. Like, but you see, what you're doing is dumping your country for this. No, we but have on an that note, are you flag. against the Indigenous flag? Yeah, now's the time for parents to stand up, because now they're. They're doing it secretly, which is just the worst. To send your kids to school, we gotta, no. the first place to trust the government's going to take care of them and educate them on what's necessary for society and life, but instead they're fooling around with their heads And the inside. Muslim women in Ottawa, the Muslim women in Ottawa, when they went, we will empty your schools. That's the way, like, go woke, go broke. Drag queens, the 
What we're trying to say is that they're, they're doing things that they used to do for adults, but now they're doing for children, right? Like adults used to go to drag shows to get entertained and give money to the, the dancer, right? Because that's an art form. And now it's a new society. And this is this is in the Bible. I heard you mention the Bible, so I'm not sure if you guys read the Holy Bible. But. I've been going to church. Yeah. So the Bible's not a hateful book. I know a lot of people might perceive it that way, but the more you get to know it and understand what the Bible is telling us, everything that's happening now has already happened before. Yeah, right? it's history repeating itself. Exactly. It's the same. Like some history will repeat itself. If you would, children should be what's going on. What's happening? What's happening in today's world? What's happening with this soldier with the sexual orientation and gender identity that they're teaching in these schools? Uh, the reason why you see this flag everywhere is because, like you said, history repeating itself. And it's not God doing it. Like God is the creator. It's us, but our free will is being manipulated. There's another force. The humans aren't that capable to just do something like this all over the world. Like there's an unseen force that's manipulating the internet has a huge all of all of this is definitely or as a and, result and of the internet. The internet also allows a lot more representation for queer people because it's, it's an outlet that they never had before, right? Yeah, that's the first red flag when they started lowering the age of uh, sex ed down, down, down. We're like, what the hell? Kids don't need to know about sex that young. No, that was one thing, and now it's not just sex. It's it's gay sex. It's sex with your uncle. Sex with your teacher at school. I mean, they're naturally curious, but let them do it at their own levels with their. Come together on the same principles that to protect our children we won't allow these schools to sexualize our children as young as five and six years old can we not allow a child to be innocent for a small period of time yeah. because once that time is up you become an adult and your life fucking sucks you have to be sued to be paying taxes so let children be children and everybody love each other Freedom! I don't like the sexual orientation, gender identity. I don't like soji being pushed on the kids. I don't like that if my child went to school and my child's six, seven, eight years old and feels like they're the other sex, that the teacher doesn't have to tell me if a parent that. I don't like that. In grade seven, I didn't have access to the internet yet. The only representation I had was my mom. And even I knew that. Like immediately, I just knew. And how, how old? I was 11 or 12. Wow. Yeah. I didn't have representation in school. I didn't have internet yet. And I only knew my moms who were already split, so they didn't talk to me about it. But you were raised by two moms? I was raised in two separate households that had the moms, but yes. Oh, okay. So I, they were together, but they split. And they didn't really talk to me about it, but still, I knew. I, I knew I didn't like the boy classmates, I liked my girl classmates. So, so uh, do you, do you, what's your pronouns now? My pronouns are they, it. They and it. Yeah. So no him, he, no she, her, it's they and it. Yeah. So like, this is that... actually my flag as well. Okay, show me your flag. So I have my lesbian one, and I also have my non-binary one, and the one my friend over here, Nick, is wearing is my progress flag. And you've known this since you were 11? Uh, 10, 11, 12. 10, 11? How, how old are you now? I am 17. 17. Yeah, I, I have always known. My uh, gender came later, though, when I started actually doing research on it, and I realized, oh, well, I don't feel like a girl, I don't feel like a boy, I'm just going to be uh, non-binary. So you didn't know, know what gender you were, and you had so to research it. Yep. And where did you research? I Internet, searched online. Books. Okay, online, right? Yeah. And it really did help me realize, like, oh, well, I'm not a girl. I have something I can fit into. And I can be happy with myself. But no one ever told you that. Did, they, did you ever think that you might be a tomboy? I did. When I was a tomboy, I was a tomboy in my mother's yeah, eyes. That's always the local girls dressed as boys. They wear the baseball cap, the jeans, the baggy pants. You like, to, you like to do like paintball and dirty stuff with the guys, you know? But you didn't feel like you would ever grow out of that? I do not think so, but now I'm a lot more accepting of like, oh, well, what I wear doesn't define my gender, so I'll wear what I want and I'll still be me. Yeah. No. You are saying yes. the stage for that to happen. Yes. No. What is not once, not once. We say it's 
don't see it. Somebody, you touch somebody else. Not just you. Not just you. Not just you. We, if we allow that, why do they we have are normalizing that to happen. No. Why do they have restrictions? Yes, we are. No, you're it's, not. It's already started with now. Oh, he can't call them you know pedophiles. Do you know how that doctor found out? He turned his one child into a girl when he was supposed to be a boy. That child killed himself. Okay. That's the doctor that created transsexualism. Okay, and now there's also. On purpose. On there's purpose. also people who you kill themselves. You all need to wake up. No, you need no. to wake up too. Yeah, because that, need goes, to wake that goes both ways, right? Take the veil down. There's also people who kill themselves the down because down they're told no. You can't dress like this. Or no, you can't be like yeah. this. When right? I was a little girl, I dressed like a boy. It doesn't mean I wanted to be a boy. I was like a boy. We're not here about the way the hell you're going to say. We're not here because you're gay. Teach the kids to be who they are. We're here because God doesn't want you on their sexuality. Homophobic, but a lady walked out saying oh, all gays are like rapists. Like. Yeah, like we can't control a lot of people, and um, because we're, we're the group that we are, we do get a lot of people that just uh, are paid to come and make us look bad.